Hello, my name is Chris Bottero, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to eliminate viruses, spyware, and malware manually. Now, I should be careful how I word this. I'm not going to show you how to necessarily eliminate them, as I am going to show you how to disable them. Now, most people don't know this, but a virus or a piece of spyware is only dangerous if it's actually running in your system or if it has the capacity to be initialized. And this particular technique that I'm going to show you that I've invented over the past few years is called the bots technique. And what this technique is going to do is it's going to show you how to actually um, prevent particular files from being able to run that are malicious in your system. Now naturally this does require afterwards uh, a little bit of cleanup using registry cleaners and antivirus software and so on. But this is a really, really powerful, unique way of manually removing spyware viruses and malware from your system without having to rely on expensive tools or even taking the the path of least resistance which I believe is also the path of most resistance such as reformatting your system. We never want to do that. So uh, what I'm going to show you here is that we basically need uh, two particular tools. A tool called Process Explorer uh, which is made by a company called SysInternals which Microsoft bought out a while back and a tool called hijack this now for those of you who don't know what these tools are don't worry go google them look it up uh, you'll get a better understanding of of what they are and actually where to find them uh, but just as a quick overview process explorer allows us to look into the system as to which processes are currently running in windows and this is really important because if we're dealing with viruses and spyware we need to be able to see what files are the culprits. Process Explorer is going to allow us to do that. Hijack This, on the other hand, is going to allow us to be able to uh, remove references to those particular files um, in which those files are actually um, built to initialize or start up. Not only when the computer starts, but also when you open a web browser, for example, it has the ability to load files as well. And Hijack This does a very good job of digging into your system to be able to isolate and find particular files um, that you know could be dangerous. So, let's get started. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to d turn off as much um, as many programs as we can in the computer. And as you can see, I've got the Google uh, desktop agent running down here. I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to make sure that it doesn't start up when my computer starts next time. And I'm also going to uh, close Outlook. Alright, now Process Explorer is going to show us if there's any other remaining files that are currently running that we should be disabling. And if we look through this, we can see that there are other processes running that uh, we otherwise would not have had any idea that they were running. For example, lifechat.exe. Let's get rid of that. And you can del hit the delete button and click yes to end the task or you can right click it and choose to kill the process as well. Alright, um, CTF loader, let's kill that. Now this is where a little bit of experience comes in handy because if you're not familiar with uh, Windows you may end up disabling things in here that you don't want to disable. Now I'm not going to disable these because of the software I'm using to record this video and of course this is Process Explorer itself. Now something that's really interesting here is I have a file running called rundll32.ext exe sorry this particular file can be useful for example if you wanted to open your control panel the run dll 32exe executable would be initialized and it would actually run uh, the code necessary for you to be able to look at certain things such as add remove programs in within the control panel uh, what I want to do is I want to see if I can disable this and it came back and this is important when you're uh, diagnosing a system to be able to look at this and say, hmm, is there, is there uh, any files in here that I can't disable? And this is the most common problem that we have with antivirus software is that it, you're able to distinguish viruses, but you're not actually able to actually uh, have that software 
eliminate the virus in real time because a lot of viruses nowadays are built to actually start back up after they've been uh, disabled. So in this particular case we need to figure out why this is running. And you're going to notice down on the bottom side of the screen here that we have a whole bunch of interesting information. One of the interesting columns in here for individuals such as myself even that aren't really intimate with knowing what each one of these single files are for, um, you'll notice that there is a company name column that will allow us to actually um, see files that were created by Microsoft and files that weren't. Now some of these files in here you'll have to learn that yes they are within the capacity of running your system, they're not harming it. But um, what's really interesting about this tool is that it will in, in the color purple highlight anything that looks out of the ordinary and in this particular example we can see that we have a file here called xxwwt.dll uh, let's take a look and see if there's any other processes that are currently running that have this particular file or any other files um, that are of concern and look at that I'm sure that at the beginning of this video you probably noticed that there was these three files that were in purple well these particular files here before we actually remove them we want to google them and make sure that they're not important for anything uh, in this case I've already done that so I've isolated now three particular files and so far that seems to be it uh, three particular files uh, that are potentially causing some problems in our operating system and we can't kill this run DLL32 and this is where the bots technique really comes to fruition where I'm going to show you how powerful this technique is. Uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to open up a command prompt. And we need to isolate where this file is located or we have to move to that directory. So this is in the C uh, Windows System 32 directory. So I'm going to change directories back. C Windows uh, CD System 32 and at this point we're going to use a tool that's built into all versions of Microsoft Windows that run off the NTFS file system uh, and this is a tool called I call it Cackles. Now this particular tool is designed to be able to change access control lists to files and what we want to do with these particular files is we want to change the access control list so that no users within the operating system have the ability to actually read that file now something interesting about this is that if you turn off and you eliminate or overwrite the access control list with just one user called everyone with the permissions of none even the system can't run that particular file on startup so even if we don't manage to clean this all up perfectly by the time we uh, restart the system we still are going to be in a situation where uh, if it just if it tries to load the file it won't be able to so what I need to do right now is I need to run the command CA CLS and I need to type in the file name which is XXWW and you can hit the tab button on your keyboard that'll quickly cycle through all the file names that are close forward slash P and if you look up here the forward slash uh, P um, is to replace speci uh, specified user access rights and what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the everyone user with N with no permission now what's interesting about this is this particular tool is now going to go to the access control list for that particular file when I say yes and it's now going to write to the access 